Hello everybody, welcome to Crafty Soup. My name is Misty. I have two challenges landing on the same day today. So the first is the counterfeit kit challenge, which is always the last challenge of the month to use your scraps. And the second is the inspiration challenge over at Scrap Happy, which is to use music album covers. And I'm gonna combine these two together today. So let's dive in. I picked my album cover before I picked anything else. And then I went to my story binder to figure out what story I could tell um, using this album cover. I liked the stark contrast with it. I've been using a lot of bright colors with black lately. And so there is that al album cover back up on the screen. And I liked the idea of that clean and simple and stark leading into this story of this very messy photo, which is, is my art sink or well, laundry room sink, which I call my art sink, and telling the story about how art is pretty at the end product, but it's messy behind the scenes. And so that is the story I'm going to tell. I do have my counterfeit kit here, which is down to pretty much scraps at this point. I did not even have a full 12 by 12 sheet of paper, so I did pull out the black cardstock. It's not that I would have had black in this kit anyway. I just know that I always have cardstock on hand, so I feel free to add that into any kit project that I'm working on. All right, as you can see here, I'm just doing a little bit of measuring to make sure that my scraps will be long enough to reach. Uh, it basically is about five inches, so I don't even have to reach halfway across the page because the photo is gonna cover up a good portion of it. And uh, I'll tell you a funny little story. When I picked out this album, um, I didn't know what the title of the album was, although I know it's very iconic. I know I've seen it before, but I am just not a very good music person. And so when I started thinking about the title for this layout, I thought, oh, the dark side of the art. And of course, the album is the dark side of the moon. And it made me wonder as I was thinking about the, the title for my layout and I did go and check and confirmed, okay, somewhere subconsciously in my brain, that is definitely in there. So uh, the pop culture sinks in, <laughs> even if I'm not totally consciously aware of it. Anyway, that's just my little funny story. I shared that story as I cut apart all kinds of paper strips for this. Now, some are longer and some are shorter. I just um, just did quick swipes uh, in my paper trimmer to get strips of as many different colors as I could out of the scraps left over from my counterfeit kit. Um, my kit was very heavy in the teals this time around, so you will see that I have a lot more teals than other things. Um, and we'll talk a little bit more about that. Now, the other side of that image is light coming into a prism. But I wanted to expand that section because I need somewhere to put my journaling. And if I expand that section, then I can stick with this very clean and graphic layout without um, having to put my journaling somewhere else. So I'm just going to expand that part and it will still look like the white light coming into the prism. And then uh, instead of being a prism, it's my craft sink there. And uh, that is going to turn all of my mess into beautiful colors of a rainbow, right? That's that easy for art. Okay, I am popping that up on foam to make it a little bit easier to work these paper strips underneath. And I will cut off everything that's overhanging the edges at the end. In order to get these paper stri uh, strips to splay out on the inner part of the strip, I am overlapping it almost all the way. I leave like just a smidgen of the previous paper showing. And then at the outer edge, I kind of rotate it so that it's just barely touching the edge of the previous strip and that gives it an angle. So I knew going into this that I would not get this angle correct the very first time. And so I put some temporary adhesive on the on the inner ends of those strips. And then I'm using a piece of repositionable tape to kind of hold everything together as it work. And then I realized I had missed a couple of sections. I missed um, kind of a burgundy color. And then I realized I had an extra green color from the back of one of my strips that I hadn't noticed before. So I do off camera kind of take things apart and then reorganize them and put them back together. But it really didn't take that long. So I'd say this this layout was pretty, pretty simple, straightforward and not 
not too time consuming at all. So it was something that I could definitely do again. <laughs> Lately, I've been doing projects that have felt more complicated than what I would want to repeat on a regular basis, but I keep repeating different complicated things on a regular basis. So I was glad that this one was simple and uh, beautiful at the same time. So that was the fun of inspiration that uh, I would not have expected to use, which is actually the title of this challenge over at Scrap Happy. It's called Unexpected in Inspiration. So I will link you up both to the Counterfeit Kit Challenge, which is where all my papers, scraps came from this time around. And I will link you up to the Scrap Happy group also. That is a membership group and I am on the design team over there. Um, but they don't pay me to do YouTube videos, so I, I get compensated a small amount for doing blog posts, but uh, I do the YouTube videos because why not film while I'm crafting anyway? All right, so this is the part where I'm cleaning everything up for that final look. I've got a little bit of vellum clipped off, and I did pull in a new sheet of vellum because I did go through my scraps, but I didn't have quite enough. And so the vellum's ready, my... Uh, Rainbow is ready, and I did take this sticker book from Simple Stories and match up, and it was perfect, it was so perfect, match up the letters with each color that they could match up with on the rainbow, and I got a great distribution of these letters, and it is, like I said, going to read the dark side of the art and I am, um, some of the letters I was out of, so I had to kind of Frankenstein uh, some of those in there just with my white gel pen. And then I really like the look of the thick, the thicker font with the gel pen. So I overwrote all the letters in my gel pen and outlined each word to make it a little bit more visible because that title really does blend in, which is kind of the point. I got my journaling on there. And then I really wanted to like keep doing things to this layout and I had to make myself stop. It's like, it is a clean and graphic layout for a reason. <laughs> I did realize that I needed to add the date on there and that was the only extra thing I let myself put on there. And so that wraps up this layout this time. And I encourage you to use scraps to make a whole bunch of strips, even if it's not this rainbow. Strips are very super useful on other techniques for layouts. But this layout in particular just was very beautiful and I love the black with the bright colors. All right, that is it for the month of May actually. And I will be back on the first with my new counterfeit kit build and I will walk you through that process. Until then, I hope you have some artful days. <laughs>